Hey guys, welcome back to Clubhouse Kids. So today's video, I'm going to be giving you a tour of my new daycare space. So I remodeled this. Um, it's actually been about a month. Uh, the month of May and, and June just really slipped away from me on this YouTube channel. I remember that last year, this did the same thing. So obviously May and June are just super busy months for me. Um, but I do have videos in the work. Do not worry. I'm not going anywhere. I love my YouTube channel. Um, but I did have to just kind of take a pause and get some other um, house projects and stuff done. So one of the projects that I did was I remodeled my daycare. My infants and toddlers were in a smaller room. And then my, my kids' homeschool room was in our bigger space. So originally, I had thought I would swap those rooms, but instead I ended up moving my kids out to our family room. That is their new homeschool space. My toddlers and infants are in a my larger um, daycare space. And as of right now, um, the smaller room is just kind of like still a room in progress. So if you wanna see my new space, stick around. Okay, so here is what my daycare space looks like when you walk into it. I have my daycare in my lower level, so when you come down the stairs, I have a sign-in area, and then you turn the corner and you walk into this area here. It is a pretty large space, and it walks out right to our fenced-in backyard, so it is just a perfect uh, daycare classroom. So when you first walk in, um, I have these clipboards up here. Now, I had this before, but I didn't have as many, so I had to go add a couple. Um, because currently I have a lot of part-time kids and so each of the kids I do like to have their own hook not sharing hooks so what how I use these is at the end of the day anything that's going home I put up on the clipboard it's usually their day sheet um, and then on the hook they usually have their um, their bags their book bags their coats anything like that and then their name tags are on top and then down here I have a green bucket where the kids put their shoes. And then next we have my bulletin board here. Now I had this in my other classroom, but it was on a wall that the parents couldn't see. And it is more for myself, um, but I think it's nice for the parents to be able to kind of see what we're doing for the week and our schedule and just have everything posted. So it's not necessarily a parent board. I have a separate um, area out by like where they sign their kids in that has more I would say more like my daycare parent board but this is another really um, good board for them to just kind of see what we're going to be doing for the day and things like that but it's a really nice organizer for myself and so I have a place here that I can keep my curriculum binder so this is my June curriculum and if I need to grab it or get anything out of it. Um, it just sits really nice up here on one of these plate holders here. And then up on the bulletin board, um, I have just listed kind of some of our gross motor things we do, some of our table toys we do. I have our schedule, just a couple pictures of the kids. Um, and then I put our weekly lesson plans, which is great. I can just kind of glance up here really quickly and just see what we're doing for the day. And then I always have our song list here as well and I also send home a copy of our songs with the parents at the beginning of every month so they can sing the songs with the kids as well. So here I have a new shelf here and I'm storing all of our table toys in here so before I had them in our closet. So this has been really nice just to be able to just kind of grab um, a couple table toys every morning when we do table time. Um, and then I also have been keeping our sensory bucket up here, um, which has been really convenient too. I had all this stuff in my closet, and so it's been really nice to kind of pull, um, pull everything out of that closet, clear up space in the closet for other things, and um, just kind of have everything a little more organized. Um, so right now here's our sensory bucket, so I just have green uh, like creep paper and then all these bugs, because our, our unit this month is camping. And then here's all our table toys. So on our table toys, I have these blocks. These, the kids absolutely love these blocks. They're called sensory blocks from Learning Resources. Um, so this is probably one of the most favorite table toys. Um, this one, I actually just got. I got this at Walmart and they were $5 each. And I have two sets. I have the um, Noah's Ark set and then a farm set. And what you do is you set them like this and then the kids 
um, can stack all the little animals um, like on top of each other. Let's see if I can. And you can just like keep stacking them up and see how far you can go. Um, it's a really, really nice high quality toy for $5. So that was just recently, I got this one at Walmart. Here is our stacking bin. So I'm in the process of when I've been garage selling, I've been trying to find some more stacking rings to add to this bucket, which is, I think is ridiculously crazy that I have not found any. Usually um, you see them all the time at garage sales. So it's just kind of funny that uh, when I'm actually looking for something, you don't see it, but then the minute that I don't need it, I'll see like a gazillion of them. But I've been trying to find some more like just stacking toys. Um, here I have just um, all of our little people that um, we use throughout the year. I always have a couple in our classroom and then these are just the extra ones that sometimes we'll just grab those and play with them at the table. Here is nesting stuff and this is another thing that I have not seen at garage sales is just like different kinds of nesting toys and so I'm on the lookout for those. Here is another, these are click and link um, alligators. They love these. Um, obviously we don't do anything with the letters, they're too little for that, but they're just uh, just more of a fine motor um, piecing these together and um, they really, really like these click and link beads. These are from um, Learning Resources as well. This one is another favorite um, table toy. So it's just our magnets. These magnets are just foam magnets from Walmart. And then I have some small cookie sheets from the Dollar Tree. And basically all they're doing is just putting the magnets on the cookie sheet. But they they love it. They will just put them on the cookie sheet, take them off, put them on over and over again. So I just have a couple of these buckets. I usually just um, split up the magnets and give them a cookie sheet. And then here is just kind of the same as our little people. This is just all of our little um, people, like little animals is all in this bucket. My littler ones really like this table toy. And then our last one is just um, our puzzles. So this bin is just full of all different kinds of different puzzles. And so this is our table time. Um, we do this right after breakfast every morning. I will usually just grab a couple of the bins and, and we just play with the table toys. Um, so this, this has just been a much more convenient spot to put, this, uh, put these toys on this shelf. And then over here, I have a little sign that a parent had given me, so I hung it here because I thought it looked really nice on the yellow um, wall. And then down here I have my diffuser because I do diffuse in our classroom. We use this to play a lot of our music during the day. And then since it's uh, hot outside right now, I have all of my, my sunglasses and a couple of my kids' sunglasses. These are just like the extra sunglasses that I don't keep in my car or my purses or anything. And I just keep them down here um, so I can just grab a pair when I'm outside with the kids. And then my kids have started to throw you know, their sunglasses in here as well. And then behind there, I keep all, all of our sunscreen and these um, are face masks. Um, sometimes when the kids have a super icky runny nose, I have them wear these. So this is more winter, I just didn't put them away because I really don't have anything else to put in that little spot. So I thought I'd just keep them there. Um, and then here's all my developmental boxes that I am working on videos. I think it's ridiculous that I have not gotten these out. So I apologize for that and I will get going on these developmental boxes. These are so great. They are for my littlest ones, so everyone from four months to 12 months, and they're just boxes that they play in that are just really, really age appropriate to the month that the child is in, and there's activities in there for them that I work with them. Um, so I keep them here, and then here's my new gate, and so it closes like this. So when I'm in there with the kids, uh, we're you know behind the gate, and they can't get to the table toys and all those boxes and everything like that. So it works out really well um, because table toys is not something that they can just, you know, go grab whenever you want. Like we do table toys during table time, developmental boxes are during developmental boxes. And so this is separated from the kids, which works really great. Um, so this gate right here is actually a gate that goes to, like that covers a fireplace. I, I ordered the wrong thing but it works, it ended up working really great for this spot because I did have a pretty large area that I needed to have a gate across. 
And so my husband really just kind of finagled it and made it work. And so it's working great. The only thing is um, it's a little bit hard to get open, which isn't that big of a deal, but I'm afraid that it might break. And so at the end of the day, if we're outside, I always just leave it open like this. Um, so like the parents aren't messing with it and end up breaking it or something. And I only have a couple kids that will like, you know, head out if I, if I go to the kitchen or something, um, you know, they'll follow me or something. Uh, so some days I have to keep it closed all day long. And then I have some other ones that um, I can leave it open and they just kind of stay in this area anyway. Um, behind this door goes into my daycare kitchen, but my air conditioner is on because it's also like our utility room. Um, so it's really loud in here, but this is where I prepare all my daycare meals and everything in here. And during the day, I just keep that door closed, um, but it is really convenient to not have to go upstairs to prepare any of the daycare meals or anything like that. And then we go into our new space here and I ordered another table. So I always had this table here with the three and then I ordered another one with two. And so what I've been doing is my older kids, my older toddlers have been in the yellow chairs and then my younger ones have been in the red chairs. And then the blue chair is the chair that I sit in. So I usually just rotate it between wherever, um, whoever I'm working with or, or feeding or, or whatever. But these tables have just been um, the probably one of my favorite uh, daycare products I have ever bought. Um, when I first started, I did like a line of uh, high chairs and this just works so much better, it cleans so much easier. I love these tables. So on the this wall here, I have my three tot task boxes and then some of our artwork and worksheets that we have been doing. And then I also have another, I printed another one of my songs and put it here, um, cause sometimes I'm usually standing basically about right here when we're singing songs. Um, so this is a little more of a convenient spot to see my song list than um, over here. And then here is my changer. So I still put it under a window, which is what I had in the other classroom. Um, it's basically the same setup here. Um, I do have a new organizer over there in the corner, um, which has cleared up some space underneath. And then each of my kids have a drawer to put, you know, their extra clothes in and stuff like that. And then above this table, I have just a summer bulletin board and then um, the little beanbag chair. Uh, the kids have really been loving like reading underneath that table. So I just put the beanbag chair under there and some of my older toddlers will just sit under there with some books. And then I have a young little one, four month old that actually just started today. So you're gonna see some of my infant stuff has been brought out. So I brought out my boppy pillow um, and that's just kind of like sitting where she, her little spot there. Um, this thing is amazing. We are having so much fun with this little canopy playhouse. So originally I actually bought this for my daughter who is in a wheelchair. So I was really excited when I saw this on Amazon cause I thought, oh, she'll be able to play in there and she can, but she cannot get in there by herself. So this is advertised as a wheelchair accessible playhouse and I can see where they're going with because it has that nice open spot. But when her wheelchair is in there and she has a very small wheelchair, there is not a lot of space to move around. So yes, she could play in there, but she couldn't really play there in there with her wheelchair and more friends her age. So it is a little bit small for, for a wheelchair. And this right here is too, um, too much of a bump. She does not have the strength to bump over that. And if she had her power on, it would probably really, her power just kind of gives like a little jolt and it would probably um, bounce her to the middle of that. So for, for what I had originally bought this for, it's not working, but for the daycare, it is amazing. So if you are looking for a playhouse inside, this works great because you can mop the floor. So usually if you put a playhouse in your daycare, um, you have like that plastic flooring, like the kind that you know, like you would put outside and it just gets kind of kind of gross. And I remember I was always in there like vacuuming it and stuff. This one is great because I can just sweep and mop um, really easily just straight onto our floor. There's no base on this. 
Um, also, the the toddlers love it because they think they're they're getting away from me. So they'll say bye, Miss Holly, and they'll they'll like go in there and they think they're in a completely different space and I can't see them or something and they are loving that independence. So we are loving this um, for my daycare room and it matches our little tree um, here, like these little leaves from Ikea on this tree, like matches that canopy perfect. So I think it just flows really well into this room. So my, this is the um, door that just leads right out to our backyard. Our backyard is a uh, hot mess. We are getting a new concrete pad poured back there. We also had construction on the other side and so it is just kind of a mess back there. We're hoping by, you know, the next couple weeks our backyard will kind of get put back together. But we have been able to go outside and play a little bit outside. It's just, uh, it's just not very pretty out there right now. Um, and then on this wall is my circle time board. I still love this circle time board. I can stand right here in front of the board and you can see like I am right by my kiddos. So they are usually sitting in, at the table during circle time um, and it's just a really, really great setup for that. Um, so this month we are reviewing our colors. So that's, we have all of our color flashcards up there. And then over on the closet, I have just kind of like my circle time, what I do with them. And then I have added a PM circle time. That has been a lot of fun. Kind of we do that at the end of the day. So I have both of those set up there. And then if you've noticed, I actually got rid of one of my toy shelves. So in my other classroom, I had two toy shelves. I went down to one. So if you have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I like to rotate my toys in and out, and I don't like to have a lot of toys out at a time. I think less is more, especially with this age group. So, and I like to kind of theme our toys. And so our theme this month is going camping. And so I have just a lot of just like camping themed toys out and it has been plenty of toys. So that was a good idea to just get rid of that shelf. So basically for toys, I have this shelf and then I have this little white table here and that is it. Um, but it has been plenty. It's been plenty of um, space. They're not getting bored, anything like that. So that's been a nice change and it's making pickup even easier than it was before. Since I have a new infant started, I did pull out um, this little cedar here and then this toy here. Uh, she's only four months, so she's actually not in the um, bumbo yet or anything, but she was in this little uh, frog sitter today and she loved that thing. So, um, so I have that out. And then on our toy shelf, you can just see it's just uh, camping themed toys. And then um, in the closet has been nice since it's been freed up a lot of the space I got all my uh, table toys out there and so I basically have just it's just more daycare storage in there and then up here I have another small um, bin now in my old classroom I had an art bin and then I had my sensory bin um, but since I have sensory over here on this um, shelf I switched one of my bins to table time so before I had put, I was putting art and table time activities together in one. So now I can separate them, which is really nice. You should see these cute little um, crafts. These are our s'mores. Um, they really like these and they kind of turned out pretty cute. Um, and then I have my rocker, which isn't in the best shape, but this thing has, has been with me for so many years and it is the most comfortable rocker ever. Um, but I need to either get it reupholstered or something, but I do not want to get rid of this thing. I thought about getting a new rocker when I moved to this new space, but I just love this thing. Um, so I have it here, and then I have that little fire camping pillow that I actually just found this at Target a couple days ago um, over in like their dollar section. It was it was a $5, but, um, but super, super cute. And the kids, so we were reading our stories around this little pillow today, and they thought that was fun. Um, and then this is my room that's just in the work in progress so we're not even gonna go in there um, and then on here our last little organizer this was um, these bins were actually in my kids school room and I just left them here because my kids are getting older and so for the most part my daycare kids actually use these more than my kids and if my kids um, you know they can have their own pencils out in there um, 
homeschool room but crayons and markers and stuff they're just really not using as much as they used to so I actually thought that this would be more used in the daycare room than in my homeschool room so I left that here on top I have just some um, blankets extra blankets that I use um, throughout the day with obviously with the little one and then here's our book set we are using for the month so I have mine up here these are all our paperback books that I read to them and then in a lower shelf are the board books that the kids can get to them and then I have a new swing I got rid of my other swing um, because the kids were my toddlers kept jumping into it and it was just a little high and I was just so worried that they were gonna flip out of it this one is um, the brand is for moms and it's lower to the ground so I just feel like this is safer for my toddlers if they want to get in there and sit I did um, get rid of the little toy bar that hangs over because I didn't want them to bonk their head and with lo like the littlest one she's four months she doesn't need that little toy bar anyway and so that is just sitting here in this corner and then our uh, support beam here I've had this be a tree for many years these little leaves here are from Ikea and we just added them to the top and then I painted um, this green this was actually already green so the only painting I did was the walls I didn't even change this tree at all so I did a lot of uh, blues and then yellow and then over here a pinkish color but I really like how the colors turned out together I think it's pretty um, looks pretty inviting uh, all the parents have really liked the room the kids and I and my both like we are just loving our new space there's lots of room for them to run around and play in I like being able to take them just straight out to the backyard instead of you know bringing them through my kids school room so we are just loving this new space you guys it has just refreshed my program um, so give me a thumbs up if you guys like it and I will see you guys in my next video Bye.